Hi guys, welcome back to RC Shed. Uh, another unboxing for you today. Uh, for those of you who saw my last uh, video, click on the banner above. You will see my link to my Xiaomi M365 scooter and also my the brand new Kugu uh, G Max, which uh, unfortunately I bought, but I fell off my M365 and I broke my arm. It's still broken now, but it's physio and stuff, so it's, I can do the unboxing and stuff. So basically I didn't have a chance to ride the G-Max, uh, I sold it straight away and what I was actually looking for during my period when my arm was broken, I was going through which scooter I should buy. So basically I went through the uh, 010X, that's above a thousand pound, I looked at the, uh, the Mantis uh, Light Plus, uh, the tyres were too thin, although it was full suspension uh, scooter. So I wanted something that was a little bit more stocky, a little bit more rugged, a little bit more chunky, with chunkier wheels. And so I decided on the Dualtron. Now, the same as the G-Max, there was loads of videos on the G-Max, but hardly any on Engli in English. So it's pretty much the same with this Dualtron Mini as well. So I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing, a little go over the parallels of it all, what the difference is, what this, that, and the other. And then uh, hopefully I can get an up running video of me out there on it, enjoying it, now that my arm's back to right, back to uh, normal. So, okay guys, stay tuned, uh, enjoy the video. Okay, so here we are again then. Uh, let's get this unboxed. So we don't want any of this. All of that. So, this scooter I managed to uh, get from West Coast Scooters in Warrington, uh, Manchester, and they delivered it to Jersey, Channel Islands, within uh, three days. So big shout out to those guys. They did a great job. Uh, you do have a problem in Jersey because these scooters are heavy. This in comparison is a 24 kilo, I think, in weight. So 22, 24 kilo, something like that. Uh, I'm actually 80 kilo as well, so the weight biased should be about right and I should be getting maximum speed out of this dual trun. Right, so here we go. Inside the box as normal. Hey, that's nice of them. So this is uh, West Coast uh, Scooters first ever e-scooter magazine and they've enclosed two copies of it for me. So big thumbs up to you guys. Thank you very much for that. I shall enjoy reading that later. Happy days, happy days. Right, moving on to one side. So as you all know with this Dualtron, it's got the funky LEDs down the side and you can change them, set them up to whatever you want to do, colors, whichever, flashing modes or permanently on or permanently off, whichever. So here is your LED controller to do the job for that. Charging cable. This is just the normal stuff. Everyone knows what's that, a charging cable box. So you don't really need to see that again. Little manual, uh, I'll have a look at that later. Nice little universal tool. It's just got your hex drives, it's got uh, screwdrivers, it's got star pins, it's got Phillips screwdriver. It's got all sorts in there, so nice little tool to have. Uh, ah, that's your stem top stem with the lock on it so I'll be needing that in a minute because I think this scooter actually comes in a few different pieces so we shall see get rid of the scalpel oh, nice looking nice Actually, it's too heavy for me to uh, pick up, so, okay, I don't know how I'm going to do this without it. Oh. As I said, my arm is, is out of the sling, but it's still got the crack. Stupid, this is a heavy bit of kit. Right, swaps to one side. So... Okay, now considering this is supposed to be a mini, it ain't that small, trust me. <laughs> so, 
handlebars. And one of the things which I did actually like about this was the BMX style bikes uh, handlebars for this. And I did see these grips and I thought, mm, they look a bit odd with that kind of mushroom shape. But actually, yeah, they feel pretty good. Pretty good. Single brake, another thing which I was a little bit unsure about it, but I watched all the videos. This single brake is rear brake only, but it does have ABS in it, and every review that I've seen about it, they say about the brakes, are uh, pretty much phenomenal. So, time will tell, we shall see. So, oh man, isn't this just an awesome looking scooter? Now the thing is, there's lots of scooters out there, but a lot of them have got the bars, which are split bars. And I like the idea, this is why I went for the G-Max, because it was one solid uh, steering uh, column. Uh, whereas if you look at the M4, the Cougar M4, it comes to about there, and then you higher and lower with this tiny little tube that slides in and out. I'm not a big fan of that, because I think if it's one tube, it's gonna be safer, and it's gonna be more durable. So hence, that's why I decided to go with this one. Uh, moving over, so let's give a little, overview as as to what it is while it's in pieces now uh, <coughs> mini motors uh, are the people who actually make these dual trons this is the cheapest entry into dual tron uh, i paid 980 for this uh, and i think it was money well spent the quality overall of all the scooters this appeared to be the best one all of the the alloys the plastics everything is just you know, solid, sounding solid. So that's why uh, build quality is hugely important for me because I'm going to use this to go to and fro from work. And I want to put a lot of miles on it, a lot of miles. So you need to make sure that it's one, built well. You've got the right choice of motor because the problem with these, anyone's had a Xiaomi M365, after a couple of months, they upgrade because they love the scooter, but it's too slow. So hence, I went from the M365 to the Kugu G Max. I actually bought a Kugu G booster, uh, but we had problems with shipping, so I had to cancel the order, and that's when I decided to go for the Dualtron Mini. So, enough for that. Okay, so let's try and put this thing up together. So, be careful of these. Uh, the actual handlebars and stuff. So, there is a pin to the side of the Dualtron, which is what you need. Now this is gonna be interesting, because I do have, sorry, I'm gonna get up on the sofa for this, on the table for this. So, we've clicked into place. Oh man, that is one sick looking scooter. Right, let me put the, Okay, so look at it from perspective now, it's not built up. The solid locking action, you have to lock it in, and then that will lock that in. To unlock it, you pull this little black tab, and then crank it over, and it will actually drop the, the main steering tube down and rest in place. And it does lock in place, so you can actually pick it up by it. So, I didn't get that. could you try again? So, no. So, as I said, with the, what was one of the important things for me was the size of the wheels. Now, if you can see these, they're about two and a half inch uh, wide. Yes, they are eight and a half inch uh, in diameter, but it doesn't matter because there's more, uh, because they're wider, there's more tire traction with the road. And as I said, I actually broke my arm on my M365 because of the small tires. So hence, that's why I wanted to get something with a decent amount of tread and, you know, contact patch with the ground because I don't want to crash again. So, next thing, uh, the motor, obviously rear wheel motor, single motor, so it's not a dual motored, uh, but the power, this is, I got a cumulative uh, wattage of 1,450, I think, which is huge for a scooter, uh, for a single motor scooter anyway. And that will put out uh, speeds of around, it's got three speeds, so it will take you power to weight ratio with me, as I said, I'm 80 kilo. 
So I'm looking to get about 30 mile, 32 mile an hour top speed on this one. Fingers crossed, which is fast on a scooter. You all know that uh, even 15 mile an hour on a scooter is going some. So let me quickly stop here. I'll fast forward through putting the uh, bars on this, that and the other, and then I'll come back to you when it's all assembled. Okay, talk to you in a minute guys. Don't be fooled by the name uh, Dualtron Mini. This is RM510, and this is amply big enough for me. In fact, this is probably just about perfect. Uh, what I brought the M365 into uh, play is because most of you are going to be upgrading from something like the M365 or the 9 bot or something like that to try and look for something more quicker. Now, that is a 400 quid uh, scooter. This is best part of a thousand pound scooter, but the difference is tenfold. Uh, like I said, the reason why I went with this one was because of the quality of it all. Uh, you can just look at it, it is just a phenomenal piece of kit. Absolutely beautifully made. All, every single part is actually made and designed specifically for the scooter. Whereas with the Xiaomi A365 and the M365 Pro, they're same shell, just a little bit bigger motors on it and that's it. So it's kind of just a generic scooter that's got a bigger motor between the Pro and the Standard. Great scooter, as I said, that's why everyone gets on them, they get hooked on them and then they want to move on to something bigger and better. So, as I said, don't, don't be fooled by the, the name of the Jolton Mini uh, as a comparison thinking it's a tiny little scooter, because it is not, as I said, on 510 and this thing is an absolute beast. Uh, as regards, you know, the foot plate, is a it's it's twice the size of the uh, M365. Uh, you've got this lovely ramp on the back where you can have that kind of riding style where it's like that. It's more of an aggressive style as regards to the M365. You just kind of put your feet across and actually use it to steer and make it steering easier for the M365. Whereas this is designed to actually be quite aggressive in the in the driving manner of it. So as I said, it's a single motor but it's going to be good for about 30, 32 miles an hour. There are three speeds to it. Obviously your eco, which is going to be probably about 12 mile an hour. Second gear is going to be more aggressive, about 18, 19 mile an hour. And then the top whack, which is going to be, depending on weight of your rider, is going to be around the uh, 30, 32 mile an hour range. So, as I said, you know, I didn't do the brake on it, but single brake, you've got the mini motors controller, uh, 
All of the other ones come with the non-mini motors controller. So this has got a lot better uh, mechanics to it. Mini motors are the market leaders for making good quality scooters. The Jap side of things are good, but the quality is more with mini motors, especially with their LCD and controller panels. So I shall run you through that uh, in a short wheel. So, as you can see, we've got these awesome lights. And I mean, they are absolutely awesome. They run in the dual trunk all the way along. As I said, you can change these to whichever you want. Uh, it's got front front lights. Probably can't see this in the, in the, the daytime now, but and also it should have flashing. Yeah, that actually lights up when uh, you're actually they they're red all the time. But actually, when you brake, they glow up red when the ABS braking and the drum brakes are pressed. So. This is going to be so visible at the night time, it's going to be uh, fantastic. So, I hope you've enjoyed my uh, unboxing and little review of this Dualtron. My first impressions of it is absolutely phenomenal. I don't think that is a better looking scooter than this. Uh, I've got no intent to upgrade it or anything because it comes out of the box, it comes absolutely stunning. So, uh, guys, look out for my next video of me actually riding this and the review, the speeds, this and the other. But in the meantime, thumbs up, like and subscribe and leave me any comments in the box below. Ask me some questions, you know, I've had a few scooters now, I'm not in any way a professional, but I know quite a lot about scooters now and can shed quite a lot of light on that turmoil that you go when you actually want to upgrade to a different type of scooter. So, okay guys, thanks for watching. So here we have the, uh, the Mini Motors display. Uh, nice and compact, feels a lot more better quality, obviously coloured with, uh, with the plastic film at the moment. So basically the way we turn it on, this is, uh, I've been used to thumb throttle uh, scooters in the past, uh, so this is a first for me, uh, so it oh, feels good and that feels really like that's not a toy. So it was going to be nice to see what it's like to actually drive a scooter with a thumb action. So, okay, let's power it on and see what happens. So there we have uh, the panels come on. It comes at 50% uh, uh, charged, uh, zero miles on the clock. Uh, it's in speed three at the moment. Uh, basically uh, to toggle through your speeds uh, this takes us through our trip computer so you can see how far you've gone if any uh, your time this that, and the other uh, this one will take us through your uh, gearing so basically first gear second gear and finally third gear so uh, if you've just come around to the side you can also see the reaction of what's going on with the uh, with the lights and I'm going to go swap back to the GoPro so you can actually see this now.